This upcoming NBA draft could very well be the best we've had in a long time. It's a loaded year that's filled with interesting prospects. Evan Mobley is one of the more intriguing young players coming out of this draft class. We're gonna break down Mobley's NBA potential and why he's likely a top two prospect that will challenge Kate Cunningham as the first player off the board. And by the way, feel free to let me know what you think Mobley's floor and ceiling is and which prospect you believe will be the best player in five years. I do try and respond to most people. All right, so let's get into it. Prospects like Evan Mobley just don't come around very often. He's seven feet tall with a seven foot five wingspan who projects as a versatile two-way big man in the NBA. Let's start with his defense. Mobley is a big reason why his Trojans rank seventh in the country in field goal percentage allowed. He has been a dominant defensive force in the paint. At times, it even makes me think of Rudy Gobert in terms of how opposing players just stop even attempting to attack the basket for fear of running into Mobley. But he is light enough on his feet that he can switch onto guards with ease and defend the perimeter. Mobley's already an effective pick and roll defender and displays high defensive IQ. He can make quick reads and has great timing when altering opponent's shots. Mobley's averaging three blocks per game, some of which are blocked jump shots. He is quick for his size and is able to cover a lot of ground defensively and does so while rarely committing fouls because of his elite timing and discipline. The fact that he already has these kinds of instincts so early on is a great sign that Mobley will be an all-team defender in the NBA. Offensively, he uses his quickness, fluidity, and handle to beat his defenders off the dribble to create offense for himself. Mobley also has solid bounce for his size and has very nice touch and feel which allows him to finish on contested shots. Mobley's also ambidextrous as he can make hook shots and attack the rim with either hand and has a lot of potential in the pick and roll. Not only can he attack off the dribble and cause trouble rolling to the basket, but he also has enough touch to pop for jumpers. I believe he can develop into a go-to scorer in the league. In addition to all that, Mobley is also a very good decision maker on the court. He uses his high basketball IQ to accurately read defenses, which allows him to not only take efficient shots, but create for others. He is a very unselfish player who can accurately distribute the rock to his teammates for high efficiency shots. Mobley can run the break, is very patient down low, and when defenses pressure and collapse on him, he can easily dish it out to the open man. Now, similarly to Kate Cunningham, I don't think his assist numbers relative to his turnovers do him justice. Because of the lack of shooting around him and the fact that his teammates don't take advantage of the open looks he gets them, I believe the spacing and shot making in the NBA will open up a lot for Mobley. I can't even envision teams running a lot of their offense through him in a similar vein as say a Bam Adebayo for example. Now Mobley will need to keep improving his ball handling and has to extend his range to become a more reliable shooter from downtown which may take a few seasons. Also he's gonna have to add some muscle as he weighs only 215 pounds which for a 7 footer may give him some trouble to start his NBA career, especially when he gets matched up against guys like Joel Embiid or even bruising bigs like Jonas Valanciunas and Yusuf Nurkic. But I'm not too worried about this as I believe he will bulk up with time. Also, the game has went away from that bully ball, bruising style of play, and Mobley will have the ability to force opposing players to adjust to him instead of the other way around. But look, I don't think he should be expected to come in and put up big numbers from day one. Like with most young big men, patience will be required. I believe that patience will pay off as he becomes a stronger and more skilled player. I don't think it's going to be an easy choice between Mobley and Kate Cunningham when it comes to that first pick. You probably can't go wrong either way. Mobley may very well prove to be the best player from this draft class as he hits his prime. Now I'm not saying he's a surefire future MVP, but there just aren't many guys with his skill set at his size that can thrive in the modern perimeter style of basketball. And Mobley has that potential, which is why he is arguably the most intriguing and maybe the most special prospect in this draft. I wouldn't be shocked if he develops into one of the best players in the NBA. What do you guys think? Who do you believe will be the best player in five years coming out of this draft class? Let me know down below as I do try and respond to most people. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button for me as it helps me grow this channel. Would be much appreciated. Thanks so much for watching. Till the next one guys, I'm out.